Hi, it's Malika again with the PDOMS tray setup. And today we are setting up for an emergency implant. An emergency implant is when a patient gets referred by a general dentist to come to our office to have um, a decayed or non-restorable tooth removed and with the possibility of getting an immediate implant the same day, okay? That doesn't always happen. There's a 50% chance that we will end up doing just a bone grafting in that area. But just in case you wanna make sure you have an entire setup. So the first thing I usually do is I take a look at the schedule and I open up the patient's chart and I see who their referring dentist is. Based upon the referring dentist, I go into the implant book and log or on the computer. Some of the computers have a spreadsheet with referring dentists. And I take a look at what kind of implant system they use, Strawman or 3 act In this case, they were using Strawman, so I went ahead and got the Strawman drill set out. And what I did was I set up an implant surgical kit. Now, this surgical kit comes with everything you need for an implant and also extraction tools as well, okay? So this way you'll be able to extract the teeth and do the implant using all the instruments in this tray. So basically what I do is I make sure I have a suture on the tray, irrigation, some gauze, a few carpules of lidocaine or whatever the doctor likes to use, whether he wants um, marcaine or septicaine. And I'll put either a yellow or a blue needle on depending on the tooth, okay? And then what I do is I set up for the back table, okay? So this is what he's gonna use for the surgery and then this is everything right here that's gonna be on this counter behind me so that we avoid cross-contamination. So what I have on this tray is I have a bag with little goodies here. So I have bone grafting material. I have some syringes to pack the bone in. I have um, a collar plug, a membrane, and the stickers to go ahead and put that on the tracking sheet, okay? And then also what I'm keeping on the back table is a pair of snaps, sterile scissors, and a bowl to mix the bone grafting material in. And then this will go over here. So that's what I keep typically over here. So when he's ready for the bone, I can mix all of that stuff. The other thing you want to make sure you have out and ready is the digital x-ray, just in case he wants to take um, an x-ray after the initial osteotomy and the ring kit in case he wants to use that. And over here, I have well, that was cute. <laughs> the Strawman kit, okay? So I typically like to open it up and have this ratchet set up, okay? So this thing comes out. Technically, it's supposed to be, you know, apart when we put it into sterilization. So you just kind of insert that piece in here, just like that. And then you're gonna put this part in here and screw it on, okay? Now there's a tiny little arrow at the end of this. The arrow should be facing down, pointed towards this teardrop, okay? And then you have to make sure this is tight. And then what I usually do before it starts, before he starts, is I place that in there. It's a driver. So once the implant is in there, sometimes they'll torque it using this ratchet, okay? And then I, tip it upside down to make sure this doesn't fall out. If this doesn't, if this falls out, it's not assembled correctly. Okay? So, that is that. I'll put that in there for the time being. I have an additional irrigation for mixing my bone. I have a glass dapping dish so that when he's done using the drills, I can clean them off and put them back in so they don't lose their spot, especially if he's doing in two implants, you want him to be able to grab the, um, the same screw in that location. And then of course, you wanna make sure that you have the hand piece for the implants, okay? So I have the straight hand piece set up and I have the implant hand piece, okay? So that's what I have there. And then also, we have the Strawman cart, okay? 
This is the other thing we want to make sure we have. In here contains all of your implants and all of your abutments. So that's where I'll be grabbing that from when he needs to do the implant. He will call out some numbers or he'll map it out on the CT scan and I'll go ahead and um, grab them from this cart. This is the bone bucket. This is what we have. We always bring this in the room. So that's where we get all of our bone supplies that I showed you at the beginning. And that's pretty much the setup for the emergency implant. You also want to make sure, like, we don't have an x-ray machine assembled in this room, so we use this Nomad for the x-ray, okay? This is really easy to use. You just press the power button on, and then you just press the tooth so you can make sure it's on a molar. I can show you that. So you press the tooth, and then what you do is, you press this like a gun until it says enabling x-rays and now it says ready and now you can shoot for the x-ray okay but it has to say ready first all right lastly i'll just go over how seating the implant will be so when the patient comes in you want to make sure you update the medical history go over everything go over your finances and before the doctor comes into the room just make sure that you have a referral up on the front computer and take a CT scan on the patient. So you wanna discuss all of these things with the patient beforehand um, so that they're aware of what's happening and why they're getting a 3D image and the importance of measuring the curvature of the bone in order to place the implant. So once all that's been done, you can go ahead and have the doctor come in so that the CT scan is up on the TV screen and the referral is up on the computer. And that's how you set up an implant. Don't forget your sterile drapes and your patient bib.